Hello everyone. I guess this is going to be, uh, what do you call it, episode two of the uh, Mama's Little Toys Upgrades. <laughs> I have gone so long without having the camera around it. I did so much work that uh, actually right at this moment I'm working on both episode one and episode two at the same time. You can see it in the background. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this split up so that there's actually two of them and you're going to be seeing episode two but I will be trying to finish up episode one at the same time. So stick with us. Y'all come back and we'll uh, continue on with episode two. Okay, one thing I, uh, that we're going to start here with, we were actually going to be doing something differently, but I think what we're going to start with today is we're going to start with some mirrors. Now, there's no rear view mirror, there's no side mirrors. Uh, Mama had some neck surgery a few years ago and uh, can't turn around like like she used to so uh, she maybe basically backs up uh, vehicles using mirrors uh, she's a trained bus driver so not going to be a problem we'll just get these mirrors mounted up and uh, away she'll go now one of the things that i have noticed here is it looks like the mirrors are going to have to go clear up here i have tried to play with these and uh, cock them around and move them and whatever and they are very minimal so in order to see back the higher it is the better so I'm gonna have to put these clear up here that I don't like I wanted them down here but that just shows me the back wheel and uh, doesn't give you know because of the angle of this so that may have worked better but i think i'm just going to end up having to put them right there so in order to put them there i have to figure out how to get around this and uh I think I'm going to have to end up loosening this one up so that I can move it out to get this piece mounted in there like that. Okay, when that is done, then uh, I can put the mirror on. So, right now we're going to uh, shut this off, go get some wrenches, see if we can take this loose and see what we can do. Okay, we got all three mirrors put in. Not real happy with that one over there, but Mama seems to be, so you know that's all that really matters. I think I could maybe make a, a little adjustment that would make that one even better, but again, this is for her to be able to back into the Beast Barn for now, uh, maybe something later, different later, and, uh, and when we take a our cans down the road to the uh, recycle bins. Then, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll be driving this instead of the car from now, you know, most of the time anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll be back in a little bit and go on to the next the only project. Thing I have to do now is lower these, and I'm getting ready to do that right now. I'm getting ready to go ahead and lower these uh, mirrors because they're just a little too high. I'm going to bring them down to about that so where they bump up against there that way it'll be just at eye level and uh, the problem I have over there you can see it this grab bar here is right in front of the mirror so if I lower it down it'll make them just a little bit more accessible and usable so when I get that done I'll be back and we'll finish this one up okay we got the mirrors moved down hopefully that's the last time that's the third place I've had I put them 
but I believe it's the last place they're gonna be. So we're gonna back her down off of here. Well, first off, we gotta put the ramp back down on that side and then we're gonna back her down off of it and uh, head, 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 take it around to the beast barn and we're gonna call this another job done. Okay, there was uh, something that we did as a modification that I did not realize that I forgot to bring the camera out. So instead of me tearing everything apart and redoing it again, I figured I'd just come out here and kind of recap it to uh, let everybody see exactly what has been done. And of all of the upgrades to this, this is the one that to me was the most important. And uh, I believe in the future, if not already, is going to be the one considered as the most important by Mrs. Dead Homer. So, just to get you started, let's go around and uh, take a look at uh, what has been installed. And then we'll go over everything else. Okay, on this upgrade that we're getting ready to talk about, the uh, at first indication, you probably don't see anything that would look out of place, right? Well, I'm gonna take you for a little close-up right here, and you will see right up above the hitch, there is, let me get my finger up there, there is the plate that had to be mounted. Got an idea of what that mounted plate was all about? This one right there. And you can see something was mounted to it and is to it so let's go look at it from a different angle and see if we can figure that out and once again underneath the the bed there's another plate right there I'm sure you've all figured it out yes oops let's do it this way this thing now has a power lift on the dump bed so what I'm going to do is set this up on a tripod uh, real quick here and uh, we'll show you how it actually looks and works. And uh, it, it kind of got, got me a little excited and uh, tickled when I, when I actually got it taken care of. So we'll be back in just a second. Okay, can you tell it? The wiring harness is in, and this one was a massive wiring harness for a number of different accessories, most of which I don't think I would ever need. If you look at the, this here, front accessory switch. There's all kinds of different things. Now, I put it in and tucked it in as best as I could so that everything was out of the way of anything moving. Uh, we even though they said that the best place for the switch is over there, uh, Mrs. Stedhomer is left-handed, so I put it right here, next to the uh, winch. Okay, uh, we ran it down through, brought it up. You can see the wiring up in here. I got it all out, it's gotta be tied down. And then it goes back and hooks up into that turn the key on and and it works so that's it that's all there is to this one it's that easy, it's that simple. Uh, I got a lot to do to get it finished up, but it's things that will not really be seen here uh, because it's, I'll be crawling around underneath it, putting tie wraps up, uh, putting the heat shield or the noise shields back, getting everything tied and put it together, putting the hood back on, and when I'm all done with it, I will come back and uh, we'll, uh, go over it again real quick we'll be back in a little bit again right here on the side where I put the winch switch I put uh, the switch for this and this is what it looks like and done it's got an electric actuator it is not hydraulic uh, and it will lift this bed 
very, very definitively. So here it goes. Which should dump just about anything as long as that tailgate's down. And then uh, it does the same thing to bring it down. Now, if you remember back when we were discussing this, uh, I told you that uh, one of the biggest problems with this was Mama had a hard time bringing that bed down once uh, it was raised because of the uh, gas cylinder that's in it. But that gas cylinder also helps raise it now. But with it being empty and it being an, an electric uh, linear actuator, it, it's easy for it to bring it down uh, with that power. But that does, cylinder does help a little bit with the There's one thing that uh, I forgot to show y'all. Now I'd seen this on uh, on YouTube. But I thought, well, that's just a joke somebody's playing. But then Mama pointed it out today, and I thought you all would enjoy this. Let me get down here and zoom in on this and get it to focus. Look at the shifter. And just get it to focus. Oh! Uh, kneeling down on gravel is not fun. Yeah, now let's see if we can get it to focus here. Okay, we'll go away from it and see if we can get it to focus. Oh, well, maybe not. go it even says it on the stick first mama's gonna do some gear banging I'm telling you this is what you would enjoy that I think it's rather rather humorous this is Stead Homer We'd like to thank you all again for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed your stay to see just how we do things. And we don't always do them the right way, but we, we get them done. We hope you uh, have a blessed, blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Tell your family. Tell your... Uh, or just tell somebody. We'll catch you the next time. Y'all have a great evening. Bye-bye.